What is up, watch friends? Welcome to another episode of Talking Time Pieces with Tony. I'm Tony. And today, since we're going to be doing the top five luxury quartz watches, I figured I'd wear a U-boat. Quartz U-boat. <laughs> Some of you who know U-boat and like U-boat are probably going, wait a minute, U-boat don't make quartz watches. They don't, but they did. Um, it's the biggest, it's got a, I mean, it's actually a pretty cool watch, but it's got a really shitty quartz movement in it. In fact, the, mo the movement is so shitty that when I took it to General, he's my buddy in, in Toluca Lake, uh, he opened it up and he goes, I think the watch is fake. It's not fake. I bought it at an AD, but it's it goes to show i mean i could i could do a whole video on why u-boat watches suck but anyway i still have it it looks cool i don't wear it um but it does have a certain thing that i'm connected with as to why i would never get rid of it besides you couldn't give this thing away if you wanted to i mean it's okay if you're eating something you don't want to spill it it's big you know it's like a plate but anyway so today we are going to be doing the top five luxury quartz watches. So please everyone like and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. I do appreciate it. It helps me stay motiva motivated to keep doing this. Um, I don't make any money from this. You know what I mean? I'll put, I'll put up this, this, the stats that I got, you know, I get a lot of views. I mean, I have just under 5,000 subscribers, but you know, about 65,000 views a month, 4,000 plus watch time hours. And I only make about 200 bucks a month, you know? So that's it. Please like, please subscribe. It, it helps me stay motivated. That's all, you know? So anyway, let's roll the intro and we'll get into it. Talking time pieces with Tony. Talking time pieces with Tony. Okay, so... This is no really in particular order, I guess. I mean, probably the first one would be the, the lowest one on my totem pole. Um, and I only put this one on here just because I just wanted to, you know, add a little bit of uh, variation to, to the list. But the first one I have is the Tag Heuer Formula One Chronograph. Um, it's a 43 millimeter case. Uh, they come in various colors. It's a chronograph with a date. It looks cool in the different colors, and I think it would be a great everyday beater watch. Don't know too much else about it other than I think it just looks cool. I mean, it's 43 millimeters, too big for me, so I certainly wouldn't wear one. Um, but you never know. I mean, it could happen. So price on this is $1,950. Um, so I think it's, it's, it's a pretty good price for, you know, to, to get a Tag Heuer. You know what I mean? So it's not a bad watch. So pick one of those up. Um, the next one I'm going to go with is going to be, uh, let's do this one. Patek Philippe Aquanaut 5269R travel time. This is a really cool watch. 38 and a half millimeters or 38.8 millimeters in rose gold. Um, I believe at the six o'clock it says home. I don't know why it says that. I guess that's your home time, you know, but it, I, it, I wish it wasn't as big or I wish it didn't say it at all. You know what I mean? Um, generally, quartz movements are pretty standard across the board. I mean, you have cheap Seiko quartz movements, cheap, you know, Miyota movements, things like that. Then you've got like, you know, Cartier high autonomy movements that are that are higher level. And then you've got this Patek Philippe quartz movement. And don't ask me the, re the, the, the serial number on this one because it's long. But it's decorated and it looks pretty cool. Um, it's $35,350. So would you pay three thirty-eight thousand, dollars you know, 38 grand, 39 grand for a quartz Patek Philippe? I think it's cool. Um, I mean, especially for people that don't give a shit about horology, you know what I mean? That they just want to set it and forget it. And that's what this whole video really is about. A set it and forget it. You know what I mean? Set the time, boom, that's it. And you know, your watch is going to be on time, accurate every day. No watch winders, no having to wind the watch, not having to set it every day because your, your power reserve ran out. I mean, that's the biggest thing with me. I just think, oh, fuck. 
fuck. You know, so it's like, um, but at the same time, it's just, again, it's, it's a beautiful watch and, and the size is perfect. You know, I love the Aquanaut and I think this is a, this is, you know, I, I could have made this my number one pick, but again, it's not really in order of that. So that's it. Pick one up if you can. <laughs> number four, uh, or sorry, not number four, number, number three or whatever. Um, let's go with the ladies. You got to put a ladies watch in there and this one's beautiful. This is a Vacheron Constantin Aguirre. This is a 30 millimeter case, 18 karat pink gold. It's got 62 round cut diamonds on the bezel and 34 round cut diamonds on the date ring. Um, it's got a moonstone on the crown, which is really cool. The crown's at the one o'clock position, I believe. Um, and uh, it comes with three different alligator straps. So it gives you that choice of colors. Um, a great, beautiful watch for a lady. And going back to that whole set it and forget it, women especially, um, a lot a lot of women aren't into horology. They don't care. They just want jewelry or a watch, something that you can put on, wear it, go, take it off, put it away, put it on, and it works. And that's it. And a lot of women, I've known women that have had Rolex that didn't understand why the watch stopped and thought it was broken. It's like, no, you have to wind it. What do you mean you have to wind it? They're not supposed to be. You're paying that amount of money for a watch that stops? You know, things like that. It's because they, 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 they just... Women, not, and I'm not saying all women, but most women don't care about horology. They don't care about automatic movements. They don't care about any of that. It's like a car. They want the car. They want the nice looking car, but they want the car to start and go, you know? So you want to get them like a new Audi Q3 SUV as opposed to a 1969 Mustang, you know, GT or something like that. They don't know, you know, cars unreliable. You, you know what I'm saying, right? I don't want to talk myself into into a hole but it's a beautiful watch um the price of that watch is twenty one thousand four hundred dollars and for the most part what you're paying for is you're paying for not only the beauty of it plus it's a vacheron constantin you're paying for the gold as well as the diamonds you know what i mean these are brilliant diamonds um next watch i'm gonna go with the cartier ronda or ronde this is the high autonomy quartz 36 millimeter um elegant sophisticated beautiful dress watch it has a similar aesthetic to patrick fleet 5119 similar actually i think the cartier ronde looks better than the patrick philippe um 5119 at least um pick one of these up if you can because guess what i got some news man those are being discontinued guess what else is being discontinued maybe i'll do that in another video but I'll, it's i'll tell you it's the pasha Apparently the posh is getting discontinued as well, but the Ronde is as well. So, um, beautiful watch. Every, you can, that's an everyday wear watch, man. It fits perfectly on the wrist. I had one. I'm thinking about getting another one. Um, but it's just a beautiful, elegant timepiece, you know, and you can't go wrong with it. And, and although, uh, Cartier are very, I wouldn't say secretive, but you know, all they say is high autonomy quartz, you know, what kind of quartz movement is it? I mean, it's some guy I'm, I'm imagining it's probably some kind of Richemont, uh, quartz movement i don't think they're gonna slap a etta in it or a salita well they may i guess just yeah so anyway great watch price on those are three thousand three hundred dollars so you know for the money you're getting one hell of a watch man and then the last final pick i'm going to go with another cartier and that's going to be the tank large now the tank large still wears fairly small compared to the tank xl which wears big um but the tank xl is automatic so we'll go with the tank large but it's still a classy watch that even a man could wear uh it's uh 37 millimeters by 22 or 25 and a half millimeters um again with the high autonomy quartz probably the same quartz movement that's in the ronde i would imagine um but again the tank is sort of the epitome of what cartier are about there's so much history and so much heritage with that watch the people that have worn that watch and continue to wear that watch and it's so recognizable people know when they see that that's a cartier you know so those are my picks um and did i say how much that was did i say three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars so uh you can't go wrong i don't think you can go wrong with any one of these on the list again this was just a short video for the top five um, I appreciate all of you and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.